Good morning. Uh, this is Gatpuno Bon Garemot Bayat. I would like to uh, demonstrate how to chop, you know, uh, from the scabbard to the uh, uh, somebody's hand or even uh, somebody's uh, weapon. Anyway, a lot of people is trying to, uh, you know, a lot of maestro of uh, FMA trying to uh, disprove that Redondo is not you know it's a blade it's not a blade art it's only a stick art well i'll show it to you the redondo which is uh, supposed to be only a, a stick art is now i'm going to demonstrate them wrong you know that you can use it on the blade because it came from the blade okay and that's really really sad to hear this to those uh, people also they said that the abanico it doesn't work in the blade you know how you how you use abanico well be honest with you, abanico could be used with the back of the blade or the plot of the blade or the blade to blade. Okay, so it, it nonsense the way the way they talk about what you can use and what you cannot use on your blade. Don't allow these people to, to tell you what you can use with your blade because it's not true. They're not they're not a farmer. These people is a, you know they they live their life as a, a very wealthy people or well-to-do people, or in the school, there are bookies, you know, and they never know what is the blade can do. So here we go. I'm gonna demonstrate first the redondo. Could you see me? All right, just come right here. See, redondo is gonna be loom from here, see it? You come up from this side. This is a circle movement, boom it right here. You see, it's, let me angle my camera so you can see it better. It really, it really allow you to, to, uh, here we go, see it? Now, so if I'm right here, and this is my chop, right here. So the idea is from the scoreboard, it goes, bam, just like that. Bam, that's it, redondo, look, redondo. Now on the abanico side, you come up from here to here. You see that? Here to here, and when you chop it, you chop it right here, you see? Come up one two one two. Yeah, that's what the uh, one two and chop. That's abanico there. That's that's only high abanico. You can do the low abanico and chop it. I use this uh, material so I can show it to you that I'm using only the tip of the blade, not the whole blade. So if anybody tell you that you cannot use abanico on the on the blade, that's they don't know the blade. And that's how I want you to do it. You know? Now, this is gonna be right here. What else they can say? Yet I cannot, you know, you cannot uh, really use it from your things, you know. I can chop them from the scabbard. You see, let me angle again the camera so you guys can see. It's coming from the, uh, here we go. This is right here, see? Look, from the scabbard, I'm gonna chop that thing right here. Bam! It's flying. Okay, boom, it's playing. So you can easily do all of those that they said you cannot do, okay? So, and redondo is the movement, you know, upward or downward or frontward, you know? And guess what? You can use the back of the blade to uh, redirect the strike. You can do the back of the blade to uh, block the uh, strike or, uh, you know, uh, parry the strike flat of the blade to intercept a cut. So there's so many things. There's so many purpose to use the blade. But you know, there, this is scholar that they call themselves master of FMA. They're disproving that this uh, weapon, uh, you know, is only can be used a stick art, a stick art cannot be used on a blade art. That's baloney. That's baloney, people. Don't tell them. So whatever I can use right here, boom, boom, pam, pam. If I, if I go close to you, boom, right here, boom up. Then you can use it also on the blade. Same way, look, boom, 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 boom. And they, they even tell you that Redondo is not even good technique for the blade. Why? Because the blade, has the edge. Well, I just showed it to you the demonstration how to chop that from Redondo way. And 
I don't know what to tell you. And in terms of this is could be used to the empty hand, yes you can. The movement, this buhat araw, this is a vertical, you see? Same thing as the empty hand, buhat araw, vertical. Say you cannot use it, you know, said it's impossible, or you, may, you have to use it a, a different way, or you different way. No, this is it, look, using my knuckle, the purple punch, bam, buhat araw. Here we go, the back piece is the same as with knuckle, vertical, boom, same move, yeah? Hasn't changed. It's the same way right here. If I buhat aro is left, if you're lefty, that's the same. One and two. How that's possible? And then here we go. They said this come from the bottom. This one they the figure eight. How come up from this side? Well, guess what? If they're telling you that they cannot use it up on strike, this is not only used for strike. I could use it for block. I see the kick coming in. Boom! I see the kick coming in. Boom! Or I go in the bottom, of course, my hands is, can be transferred to different way. Why? Because it's adaptable to that. This hands is adaptable to many things. The reason why we have weapon is because of extension of the hand. I cannot reach you this way, I put a weapon in it so I can reach you. That makes sense. So they're being blind by using of the weapon, thinking that the hand is limited to what it can do. Please, if this is gonna be buhat arrow right here, that's the same hand is coming. Look at my new knuckle landing to your face. If this is backhand right here, which is backhand, it means a vertical. It can easily go right here. My now my two knuckles. So that's the case. They should study well before talk, talk. You know because the talk is bullshit. To me, I've been living. I grew up, born and raised as the farmer. And this blade is my companion every single day of my life when I was a farmer. And let me tell you something, I am born and raised a screamador. My father, my father before me, my grandfather, my great grandfather is all Arnis de Mano expert. Now, Hearing this talking about FMA, that this is cannot be used or, you know, translated to empty hand. I hate to break the news to them. Yes, you can. And they said, in order for the Filipino martial art to have an empty hand, to have to get another martial art. That's bull crops. Not necessarily, not all FMA, their FMA. Yes, not mine. Or a lot of people will agree with me that all of this, boom, 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 one, one. And that alone is translated to buhat araw and buhat araw. Buhat araw, then back piece, is a vertical. Of course, this one is a truss. I could truss you from here, and that's an uppercut. Boom, uppercut, boom. I don't need to turn my knuckle to uppercut. Are you bullshitting me? You can break that knuckle. You can break that wrist by turning like this. That's why we do it this way. Because two knuckles will land. Look, the piece is going that way. Landing to the pace of the person. Right here, this is boxer. But we use it also because this is a cut. You know, the upper, you know, the, it's not necessary, this is extension. So when it come up from this side, that's an uppercut, and it's the same move. Damn, this is black, bam. Oh, this is a cut, upward, boom. And look at the position. Now they tell me, now they say black. Look at this. Look at this black right here. Oh, this is chopping the hand, because it's coming. They're chopping the hand. And look at this, move. It means the hook, the hook is applicable to empty hand. How that is impossible, unless, Unless you are limited to what you can do. But telling me that it can't be transferred to weapon, your empty hand, that's bull crops. Again, this is get puno abon. I'm just proving them wrong to what they're claiming and say. It really, really put down 
the FMA on the way they talk about that you cannot use this in empty hand. Puga everybody. And that's from here. I'll puga it with the blade. So you come up from this side here. Boom. Here, this is it, boom. So I come up here, look at the blade come in and go to my scabbard and boom. Peace out, everybody. Subscribe, okay? Subscribe. I love you, bye.